app switcher is a quick and easy way that you can switch from one app to the other or that you can quit apps very quickly and easily without even having to, to get into them. The command to do app switching is command, which is that the key that has the little clover leaf on it on a Mac, command tab. So first you start by putting your thumb on the command and keep it held down and then you press the tab once and here's what happens that pops up. Do you see that list of apps in front of you? Those are all the apps that I have running on my computer right now. Now I still have my thumb on the, on the command key. As soon as I lift it off, that's gonna go away. So you wanna keep your thumb pushed on the command key, push tab. Now, every time you push tab, as long as you have that thumb down on the command key, it's gonna go to a different app. It's gonna highlight a different app every time I press tab until it goes through the whole list and then it starts over again. Okay, whichever one you end on, when you lift up your thumb, it's gonna switch over to that app. So that's really cool. You can easily switch without going down to your dock, just by doing this, going over to a different app. Okay, again, on the computer, command tab. Now, let's say I wanna quit Chrome. So I stop when I get on Chrome and then I just move my finger still. Again, I have command pressed down the whole time. I switch my finger from tab to the Q, the letter Q for quit. And I push Q and it goes away. Q and it goes away. Isn't that cool? Now, here's for our more advanced users. You go forward by doing command tab. And if you hold down command shift and then press tab, you'll go backwards. So if you bypass, oops, I meant to go back to that one, hold down shift and it goes backwards. So that's on the computer. Now it's also available on the phone and the iPad just has a little bit different way of doing that. Now the gesture on the phone to, to do this, it is a little bit tricky. It's taken me like years to finally get it just right. But what you do is you take your finger and you start from off the screen at the bottom and you swipe up and pause. And as soon as you pause, this comes up. And these are, again, all the apps I have open with a little preview of what's on that screen. I was listening to music on my Sonos speakers earlier. So you can flip through them, you can find the one that you wanna land on and tap it and boom, you switch to that one. Now, here's something else that's really cool. And again, to, to get there to that app switcher, I swipe up and pause and then let go, okay? Now this is where the app switcher becomes really valuable, quitting apps. Sometimes your phone gets slow, it's acting funky, you wanna quit all your apps. Some people don't even know that they have these apps running in the background of their phone. You know, and certainly you can turn off your phone and that's a shortcut to quitting all your apps. But if you don't wanna do that, all you have to do is take your finger and swipe up and it quits. Swipe up. Now I can't quit Zoom or else it's going to, you know, kick me off of here. So I'm going to bypass that one. Swipe up and you can get pretty darn fast at this. Swipe, 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 swipe. There we go. The only one left running is Zoom. It works exactly the same way on the iPad. You would just swipe up from the bottom and pause. The cool thing about the iPad too is that you can quit two apps at a time by using two fingers on each one on each app. So you can like do it real fast.